ChatGPT just launched agent mode, which actually allows you to automate tasks with ChatGPT and even to schedule them out in the future. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this new feature is, how you could use it, and how to get access to it. On top of that, I'll also be sharing with you five crazy use cases that are gonna blow your mind because ChatGPT just got a massive upgrade. Okay, now accessing agent mode is incredibly easy. It is literally as easy as you just coming over here, you clicking on tools, and you will see agent mode right here. Now, as we can see right here, I have 400 left and more are going to become available on August 17th. What on earth does that actually mean? Well, if we come over here, I have a few other things to share with you. So currently the people that are going to get access to this are people on the pro tier, the plus tier, and team users. Pro users are going to get 400 queries a month. Plus and team will get 40 queries a month. If you have a pro account on ChatGPT, you should already have access to this because this was posted yesterday. I just didn't get access to it until like midnight and I didn't want to post this video at midnight. Now, plus and team users, this right here says that you'll get access in one of two days. OpenAI actually just released something on X this morning that said you guys will get access on Monday. So if you have a plus and team membership, access on Monday, pro users have access now. But this right here is incredibly insane. Basically what this does is combines ChatGPT operator with ChatGPT deep research with regular ChatGPT. What does that mean? That this can do several different things. For example, if we come over here and click on agent mode, we'll be able to see a bunch of different things. For example, this can literally compare states for LLC formation steps using LegalZoom. You could have it book you hotel trips. You could have it book you a rental car. You could have it book you anything. You could have it audit certain things. You could have it generate reports. You can have it take actions. You can have it do things with spreadsheets. You could have it do things with presentations. And the craziest part about this is that you can also give it access to everything that you can connect right here. And if you come into your settings, you should be able to schedule things out. So if you come into schedules right here, then come into manage you will be able to see all the different things that you have scheduled out and you can also schedule out agent mode which is insane so let's say that we have this polling a report for us we could get it to do it every monday or let's say that we have this catching us up on our email we can have it do that every morning or let's say that we have it building some type of presentation or building some type of spreadsheet or something like that we can have it do it on a certain time cadence that could be daily that could be weekly that could be monthly there are so many different cadences that you could actually have this do stuff for you so what does this actually look like when it does things let's say for example that we tell it to book a kyoto boutique hotel on booking.com with on site so if we click on this right here we'll actually be able to play this through and we'll be able to see exactly what this looks like so i'm going to skip this all the way through to the end and i'm going to actually go through so we see that we could tell it search booking.com for highly rated boutique hotels in location for a seven night stay in mid-october and then you give it a bunch of priorities for example what guest rating you want the average rate that you want and different things that you want might want for example preferably in walkable proximity to different attractions and we can see this went through this reasoned for 26 seconds basically this used ChatGPT to then do a bunch of different searches it told you then what its recommendation was and then from here this could actually go through and book this out for you but in order for it to book it out to you you would have to give it permission so essentially this would then log into booking.com or go to booking.com it would then say and prompt the user to say can you please give me your login information you would then give it your login information and then if you have your credit card information stored on there it would be able to take action on the website otherwise you also will have to manually go through and put that in and they put this in here as kind of a safety thing and one of the biggest things that ChatGPT spoke about in the live stream of this new product was all the different safety features that they have added in here because they said that there are going to be a lot of different safety concerns that come when agents start taking action on our behalf the same way that this happened when the early internet happened and we all just had to adapt to this the same exact thing is going to happen 
with ChatGPT. Now, let's say you want agent mode to take action on your behalf inside of some of your apps. All you have to do is come over into settings right here, come into connectors. When you click on these, you will now see that it works with deep research and agent mode. If you click on connect right here, this walks you through different permissions, your privacy and security issues, and whether or not you're in control of your data. And then you can actually go through and you can connect all these different apps so that agent mode can actually take action on your behalf inside of them. Now, before I get into those five crazy use cases, please make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this almost every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, the first use case I wanted to show off here is actually getting this to book something. So, book a dog-friendly hip campsite with a private hot tub within two hours of San Francisco for two guests for these nights, and then it says what to prioritize and how to confirm it. And if we actually play this through right here, we could see ChatGPT actually do this. So we could see that this is actually going through, and this opens up a browser, and then goes and actually does a search for this. We could see that it had an error initially, and then it had a four, four error, but this continues to keep trying and it continues to keep going through and actually figures it out the same way that a human might. If your assistant went and did this, they might run into trouble. If you went and tried to do this, you might run into trouble. You can actually watch ChatGPT do this at each step along the way. Now, if we skip forward right here, we'll be able to see when it actually figures it out, we are able to see that it finds a listing that this individual probably wants. And we could see that now this is going to actually go through and this is going to confirm the booking. So it's going through, it's getting the right days, it opens a calendar and it actually identifies that it's doing it for the right days. And then if we skip further a little bit, we could see this is going through and this is doing all this. And again, this is doing this without any human input. Now, when we do get to the reserve sign right here, the human will have to come in and they will actually have to output things. But then if we skip through this, we'll be able to see that this went through, it actually booked this, and then it gave key details, it gave directions, and then for the next step, literally all they have to do is come in here, finalize, and pay. As you can see right here, it says that in the instructions, and again, that's really a security protocol. If you wanted to, you could just enter in your information and have it take over and proceed with everything else. Now, the second use case I wanted to show off here is actually getting this to create a slide deck. So we could see here the prompt create a five slide investor deck on DTC skincare sector slide one, and you actually go through and tell it exactly what to do within this prompt from here. We're literally just going to click on this right here. And we could see that this actually begins setting up its desktop and it's going to begin to take action. Now, we could see right here before I begin, could you clarify the level of detail that you want to expect in terms of visual design? And I'm going to put, I want a high level of detail. So it's actually good that it asked me that question. Now, again, this is going to require some back and forth. It is going to require some human input, but it's only doing that the same way that a human would ask you questions. Okay, so as we can see here, this is now literally combing through a bunch of different articles. It is combing through different things about the industry. It is combing through industry trends. It is combing through industry forecasts. And it's also looking at things in the past in order to determine whether or not it was accurate in the past because it might discount the things that it shows in the future. We could see that it's looking up 2022 and 2023 because they want to understand how these things impacted things as of today and all these different FDA regulations and things like that in order to determine what is actually going to be useful to include in this slide deck to convince investors to actually invest in your product. And by the way, if you wanted to, you could actually click into this right here and see all the activity that's happening. You could take over the browser or you could stop this if you wanted it to stop right now. Now, one thing I did want to warn you of, this literally took 44 minutes in order for this to go through. And this right here is the presentation that this actually went through and this created. So I do not actually think that this is that great of a presentation. So actually kind of disappointed in what this actually went through and created from presentation standpoint. I think that GenSpark is way better than this. I think that Manus is way better than this. And I'm kind of really disappointed in the 44 minutes that it took in order to actually create a presentation, but it's cool that ChatGPT 
can now do this. Now, the next use case that I wanted to show here was this going through and this actually building a cash flow model for an energy company. So we could see if we click on this right here, we could see this very in-depth prompt that is going to be used here. If we click on play, we could run through this actually going through and doing this. So understood, I'm going to create an Excel DCF model for this certain brand starting from 2025. Again, we could see this goes through, this actually does searches, this figures out all the information that it needs to actually be able to do. And then we could see that this reason for 17 minutes here went through, has all of this different information, and then it created this Excel sheet right here, which goes through and does a DCF model and gives a valuation right here. So if we open this up, we could see all these different assumptions. We could see the different debt that they have, we could see different revenue, we could see cash flow, and then also we could see the valuation and where this actually thinks that this is going to play out. Again, this did all of this automatically. Now for this right here, it did take 17 minutes, but again, compared to an analyst going out and doing this, that's pretty quick. Now the next use case I wanna show off here right here is catch up on Teams conversations from last week. Now. The reason I wanted to do this is because you can also do this with Gmail. You can also do this with Outlook. Basically, you could just tell this exactly what to do. So we could see right here, I was unexpectedly out of the office last week for a family emergency. Can you do a review of my team's account and bring up the speed on the latest updates I should know about who I should prioritize getting back to first? We could see this goes through, searches the API for teams, actually figures this out. And if we skip through here, we could see this only took four minutes to do. So this is way quicker. And I think that this is a way better use case. So we could see here all these different key updates. It actually cites all of its different sources right here. And this went through and built a prioritization list in terms of getting back to people for all these different people on the team. And then it said no other messages were found in the last seven days. So this actually went through their teams. And again, if you come into settings, you come into connectors, you could set this up to teams, to Outlook email, you could set this up to Gmail, and this will actually allow you to go through all of those things and keep you up to date on them. Now, the last use case I wanna highlight here is something like this, do an audit of my Google Calendar for the last six months, tell me how I've spent my time. Again, if we come into settings, come up into connectors right here, you'll be able to see that you could do this with Google Calendar, or you could do this with Outlook over here. And we can see that in only 12 minutes, it went through the last six months of your calendar and it goes through and actually figures out how you've spent and how you've allocated your time. And it gives you sources right here, which are incredibly helpful. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see the total time allocation. So we can see 26% of the time in work, 9.9% .9 of the time commuting, and then personal slash relationship was 44% of the time. So it sounds like this person has a very balanced life. And since you're still watching this video right now, I'm gonna assume you're probably a productivity freak or you wanna improve your life, in which case I would strongly suggest that you go through and use this prompt. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through six other changes that ChatGPT just released because you aren't going to believe all the new capabilities that this tool has that you've probably skipped over. I'll see you over there.